Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to make this stencil text. And as you can see, it works with any font. I can replace things easily. It's all dynamic. And it's cool because it's cut out. It's all on just a single layer. And we're going to also make this controller here where we control the width and the height and the color of the background. Doing it all in After Effects. Now before we get started, um, in order to create this effect you are going to need a script. It's called Slim Expressions or Slim Expression Controls and you can find that at aescripts.com. There is a link in the description and it is a paid script but the demo version is still functional. Um, you just don't have as many bells and whistles. Um, but for what we're doing, the demo version is just fine because uh, it restricts on how many different um, effects you can stick into the controller. And I think it's five. And so we have less than five, so it's going to work just fine for this. But it's a really cool script, so I suggest go and um, buy the full script. So to do this, it's a really, really easy effect. Let's start, and, and the reason why I have this background colored, just to show that you can see that it is cut out. It's not, you know, just like, you know, a colored font. So let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just hide that. Let's start with a new, new text. Okay, first thing you want to do is go to Effect, go to Channel, and we're going to Invert. And instead of inverting the RGB, we're going to go down and invert the alpha. And that's really most of the effect right there, is inverting the alpha. But we do want to make it so it's not so close to the edge. And that is one more effect. We go into Channel and Minimax. And now we need to bring this up above the invert. And as I increase the radius, you see what it's doing there? That's pretty cool. But one thing is if I come in here to this text and I change the text color to say, you know, like a red, well then it's not it's not going to work how we want it to. It looks cool, but it also looks funny. So we need to add another effect to this under color correction, tint, and we're going to tint the whole thing, just map the black to black and the white to black, and it's all black. So that's the basis of this. Now I do want to make it so I have control of the, the horizontal and the vertical, the height and width, um, separately. And so I'm going to take this Minimax, duplicate it, and then under direction, I'm going to have one vertical and one horizontal. So now I can move horizontal with one, vertical with the other. These are the four filters you need in order to create this effect. Now, the fun part is to create the controller and then we're going to turn it into a preset so then you can apply this to your text anytime you need it. So let's open up the Slim Expressions. And how this works um, is it's a, it's a script and you can create, let's uh, see this, this is a Slim Expression. It's where I can mix in different sliders and all sorts of different things into one nice controller and it makes it feel more like a plugin instead of a preset. So I'm going to create a new controller. And the things that I need, I need to um, two sliders, one for the width, one for the height, and I need a color controller for the colors. You also see down here we can do angles, we can have layer selects, uh, point controllers, um, we can also have groups, so you can have different sliders and things within groups, within groups. So it's it's really kind of a cool um, script, one of my favorites. So what I'm going to first do is let's name this effect. We'll call it stencil. And then what I'm going to do is add a slider control, add two slider controls, and then add a color control. Let's give these names width. height, and color, stencil, stencil color. And in the slider controls, we can pick the uh, defaults. Um, right now, the default is at 0%, but we can have that default to say 10 on both of those. 
and then we can have the minimum and maximum. So I want the minimum to be just zero. It doesn't need to go below zero because it's not going to do anything. And then the maximum, um, what this first part is, is how far the slider will go, but then this next part is how far past the slider you can go. So it'll go up to 100 on this main slide right here, and then it, but it'll go up to 1,000. And so that's kind of how these controls work. Now with the stencil color, we can pick what is the default color, and let's just go black. And then that is the uh, controller. So then we need to click, click up here where it says Save Effect. All right, it's saved it, it's complete. Now I need to restart After Effects for this to work. So I'm going to close this down, save my project, and let's restart. Okay, I've gotten After Effects restarted again. Let's open up my recent project, and then I'm gonna highlight that layer. Let's go into my script again, and then right, right there I have the stencil. That's the one I just made. St stencil text is the one I had made earlier, um, but I named this one stencil. And then what I'm going to do is, right here it says add to layer. Click on that, and then we can come down to that layer, and we have now that controller. Pretty darn cool. Let's bring that to the top. And what now let's, let's move this to the side. What I want to do is now connect this one, which was my width. So option or alt click on the stopwatch brings up this expression. I'm going to pick whip up there the width. Do the same thing with the next one. Pick whip the height. And then under tint, Pick put both the white and the black to the color. And it'll make sure that they stay both the same color. So let's test out this controller. It's pretty cool. And let's try the... Excellent. So it's working good. Everything seems to be working. Now let's turn this into a preset that we can save and save again. But before I do that, um, some of these layers down here, I just I don't want to have to worry about them, so I'm going to change their name. Let's call this Don't Touch, and I put three dashes on the front of it. And the reason why I do that, and then on the second one I'm going to put four dashes. Let me just finish this up, and then I'll explain why. Five dashes... Okay, the reason why you have different dashes is because they need to be technically different names, um, but I want them all to say don't touch. If they're not different names, then when you apply the preset, After Effects will automatically change the name of them and it, it'll get weird. So you want them to all be different names if because if they're the same, After Effects will get confused. So and that's all we do. Now let's turn this into a preset really easy to do because everything's all down in the effects. All I have to do is highlight the effects in the timeline, go up to animation, save animation preset, give it a name. Now let's grab a new text layer to test out this preset. Stencil text, there it is. Drag it, drop it on. There we go. And here's everything all ready to go. Now, I can reset this. I actually saved it, not in its default state, so I, I'll probably want to resave that animation preset again. But you can hit reset, and it goes back to its default state. Pretty kind of a cool, smart preset. Really fun to make. If you have any questions, I know this has been kind of a, a quick and easy tutorial, but there's a lot of cool stuff you can learn from this. And I just wanted to let you know I am working on another course. So like my motion typography course, I know many of you have seen that. If not, there's a link in the description. Um, that course is on Udemy and it talks about creating motion typography. The course I'm working on now is going to be how to do stuff like this. And this is just a very simple thing. But I'm going to go into a lot more detail on how I create some of the presets I do. Um, and pseudo effects is what they're called. It's a pseudo effects course, and we're going to be creating some awesome presets in there. 
And so watch out for that. I'll keep you updated when that thing is done and ready to launch. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away and go ahead, try this out. I want to see you guys make your own preset. Go check out Slim Expression Controls over at AE Scripts and uh, let's make something cool. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.